From north to south, east to west, we're going to explore the art. The art full of wonders and mysteries. Welcome to Finding Art. Cancer is a type of disease where cells grow out of control, divide and invade other tissues. With cancer, the normal process of cell division goes out of control. Cells change their nature because mutations have occurred in their genes. All the daughter cells of cancer cells are also cancerous. Let us get to know about colon cancer. Colon cancer Symptoms Local colon cancer symptoms Changes in your bowel habits such as bowel movements that are either more or less frequent than normal. Constipation Diarrhea Alternating constipation and diarrhea Bright red or dark red blood in your stools or black dark colored tarry stools. Stools that are thinner than normal or feeling as if you cannot empty your bowels completely. Abdominal, meat section discomfort, bloating, frequent gas pains or cramps. Systemic colon cancer symptoms, unintentional weight loss, loss of appetite, nausea or vomiting, anemia, jaundice, weakness or fatigue. Colon and rectal cancer, risk factors, polyps, the large intestine, colon cancer usually derives from precancerous polyps that exist in the large intestine. The most common types of polyps are Adenomas can become cancerous but are usually removed during colonoscopy. Hyperplastic polyps rarely become colon cancer. Inflammatory polyps usually occur after inflammation of the colon and may become cancerous. Family history of colorectal cancer. Individuals with a family history of colorectal cancer are at an increased risk of developing the disease. The degree of risk depends upon the type of relative affected. Age. The cells in a 70-year-old body have had more time to accumulate the changes needed to form cancer cells, but those in a child are much less likely to have acquired the required changes. More than 91% of patients are diagnosed with colorectal cancer over the age of 50. Other factors include personal history of chronic inflammatory bowel disease, excessive drinking of alcohol, obesity, physical inactivity, smoking. A diet very high in animal protein, a diet very high in saturated fats, a diet very low in dietary fiber, a diet very high in calories. Women who have had breasts, ovary and uterus cancers, patients with ulcerative colitis. Diagnosis Digital Rectal Exam DRE The doctor inserts a gloved finger into the rectum to feel for polyps or other problems. Fecal Occult Blood Test FOBT This take-home test finds blood in stool. Fecal Immunochemical Test FIT This take-home test finds blood proteins in stool. Endoscopic tests, which may include sigmoidoscopy, a tiny camera on flexible plastic tubing sigmoidoscope, is inserted into the rectum. This gives the doctor a view of the rectum and lower colon. Tissue or polyps can be removed and looked at under a microscope. Colonoscopy, a longer version of a sigmoidoscope, a colonoscope, can look at the entire colon. Endoscopic ultrasound, EUS, an endoscope is inserted into the rectum. A probe at the end bounces high energy sound, waves off internal organs to make a picture sonogram, also called endosonography. Imaging tests, which may include CT or CAT, computed axial tomography scan, MRI, magnetic resonance imaging scan, PET or CT, positron emission tomography scan, Virtual colonoscopy or city colonoscopy. Double contrast barium and MLTCBE. Barium is a chemical that allows the bowel lining to show up on an X ray. A barium solution is given by enema and then a series of X rays are taken. Blood test for carcinoembryonic antigen CEA. CEA is a protein or tumor marker made by some cancerous tumors. This test also can be used to find out if the tumor is growing or has come back after treatment. Thanks for watching. This is your host Tracy Gomez. Please subscribe. See you in my next video.